Hi, Chad Hines of Willow Creek Kennels. We got Brett uh, working with Buster here today. Buster's out for training. And um, he's got some gun sensitivity. So, what we're doing is this is a nice little trick for gun sensitivity. Uh, get a high value food reward. These are basically meat trimmings, little chunks of fat and meat trimmings. He absolutely loves these. And he's a difficult to keep, dog to keep weight on, so this really helps with him. Um, as you might know, Brett. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do to start, I'm just going to walk out here about 50 yards or so. Not nearly 50 yards, I apologize for that. I'll walk a little further. But uh, shoot the gun, come back, give him a treat. If you watch his reaction here, he's eating it. That's good. If he doesn't eat it, we got to walk further away and um, find something else. Typically, if they don't eat it, the best thing to do is um, try give him a little bit of food that evening and then try it the next day. Um, cut the rations probably in half to a quarter and then try it the next day. Um, sometime during that day, if it's a high value food reward, they should get right after. Hot dogs work real well, they're easy. Um, just slice them up in little chunks. And it's as simple as that. We're going to desensitize the dog to the gun while building a positive association with it. So I'm going to walk out here again. Yeah. stay out there, I'll fire, he'll give him a treat. You can even open the door and pet him a little bit, just okay. don't let him out yet. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. There we go. After every shot, give him a treat. If he looks like, he, if he doesn't eat it, just let me know, so we'll stop there and find something else. Okay. I just noticed that. We'll probably leave it shut. Session. Typically, each session I run uh, six, this holds six blanks, so we'll fire six blanks and stop there. And a good end of the session as well is um, we were done with the gun, he likes the birds. Oh, come on, Buster. Grab him a pigeon here, a bumper, whatever he likes, whatever he needs for positive reinforcement. Hey, hey, Buster. Whoa. Oh, give him a bird to chase. And that's a good little session right there. Thank you. Now, if I fire a shot right now, it'd be too much. He'd stop and he'd come right back to me. Okay. But he's eating them good. I, and every time I come out, and there's another good little trick for gunfire, is every time I come out, if the dog's right beside the door, mm -hmm. fire the shot, open the door, let him out, give him a treat, and we head to the field. Um, doesn't even mean the treat, really. They're so excited to come out of the kennel and go train. That, just that shot before you let him out. And then no fire in the gun in the field. No fire in the field until uh, he's comfortable with it and then bring him in the field. 